Hey everyone, welcome back to CBO Wellness, Chill Vibes Only. My name is Allie, and today we are going to be talking about, if you haven't already guessed it from the title, what to do if you feel like you are late to the game with sex, you've never had sex before, maybe you are in your late 20s, late 30s, late 40s, 50s even, and you've never had sex before, and for whatever reason you feel like at this point in your life, the stage that you're at in your life, you would have wanted to experience that, and it hasn't happened yet, and now maybe you are feeling a lot of shame around it, or you might feel like you're uncomfortable with sex because you waited too long, um, or that people might judge you for not having sex, or that you're inexperienced. I hear all these things in my DMs from people who've never had sex before, and they're thinking like, I just haven't found the right person, which is totally fair and valid. And so I want to make this video just to help kind of reassure and talk you through what I would advise you shift your mindset to and your thought patterns around sex if you've never had sex before and you want to have sex. If you've never had sex before and you have no desire to have sex, good for you. There's no need to do it. And it's awesome that you are confident and sure of yourself and you know what you want. Um, but this video is really for people who you know are curious about sex, um, have been curious about sex, and just haven't found the right way to have sex yet. Because in the traditional definition of sex, it usually involves two people, right? So it doesn't have to just be what we think of as P and V penetration. Sex can be whatever you want it to be with whatever partner you want to have it with. But obviously, you know, it is an intimate moment between two people. So if you never had like an intimate moment with someone before and what your definition or what you would qualify sex as, whether that's P and V, whether same sex and you want to, this video hopefully will help you move through that and give you some practical advice on how to help you feel better about the situation. So the first thing I want to say is that there is no time limits or timeline in life. Um, this is something that's really grounds me, not even just like when I'm feeling like I'm behind or like I'm not doing enough, but realistically, there is no set time frame on life. Obviously, there are some constraints when it comes to like having children, right? Women do have a biological clock, unfortunately. But even in that sense, there are lots of options for childbearing. Um, and hopefully these options are going to become more widely available to all. It's going to be something that we get more access and resources to in the future. But aside from that, there is no time frame in your life. When it comes to sex, when it comes to your career, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to your family life, you can do all those things, you cannot do all those things. None of it matters. All that matters is you align and you do the things that bring you joy, that bring you peace, that make you happy, that make you feel fulfilled, and that you actually want to do. I think it's so funny because specifically in Canada and North America where I grew up, there's this culture around, you know, you go to school, you get a job, you meet a person, you get married, you have a family, you retire, and then that's your life. And that's just one way of living. And if we looked at a different culture or even a different religion within my culture, they could have different rules, right? So it could be, you know, maybe you live with your parents and then you get married and then you have sex. Maybe it doesn't matter at all when you have sex. What I'm trying to get at here is that this is all just cultural and societal norms that people created most likely to control us and keep us in bubbles and keep things you know in order um but they don't align for everybody and they definitely don't have to align for you and you're not late there is no timeline you can do things you cannot do things and you can do them at your own time so if you're someone and this is what i wanted to address in this video is that I get these DMs from people that say, you know, I am 30 years old and I've never had sex before and I feel so uncomfortable when I go out on dates or I don't know how to initiate uh, like a sexual experience with someone and I just feel uncomfortable and I feel like I'm behind. So what I would say to you is that A, nobody knows if you've had sex before. Nobody. So you know, if you just want to get it over with and you're like, I just want to experience this, I've never experienced it before, I want to see what it's all about, you know, act confident, you know, be sure of yourself. You don't have to tell anybody your previous sexual history. You don't have to disclose that. You don't need to tell someone, hey, I've never had sex before. You can, and I 100% 
recommend doing that, right? Like if it's something that's really intimate and vulnerable for you and something that you feel uncomfortable about, um, waiting until you find the right person and then saying like, hey, I just want to let you know, like, I've never had sex before. This is something new for me, but I'm really excited to, like, experiment and try this with you. Being honest and, like, being vulnerable is such a wonderful way to connect with people. And if someone reacts poorly to that, then you definitely should not be having sex with them. And that's a really, really, really wonderful, great way to kind of rule people out. So use that in your back pocket as, like, a litmus test of like how actually nice and wonderful this person is but also you do not have to tell anybody nobody knows there is not a sign on your shirt that says I've never had sex before nobody's gonna figure it out you can keep it to yourself and again you don't have to rush it there's no timeline like sex could be something that you explore in your second half of life or later on in life and it doesn't need to be something that happens right away and just remind yourself over and over and over again that these are cultural norms that were set up by society and people. These aren't set guidelines. These aren't set rules. You have to live your life that aligns best with you. And I'm sure there's a reason why you haven't had sex before. And like everything is working out for you. So don't feel any shame around that. Don't feel any guilt around it. Don't feel like you're behind. Um, to be honest, when I first having, started having sex, I was like, this is not great. Like, this is not at all what I was sold on TV. This is not what it was meant to be. This is like fake news. <laughs> and I had to like, you know, experiment myself and figure out what works for me and my body. And you will do the same thing, but don't feel pressured on a timeline to get there. Go at your own pace and it's your life and you can decide when and when you want to. Alright, so I hope this video helped just kind of give you a little bit of reassurance and feel better about it. Like I said, your journey is your journey and don't let anybody tell you anything else. If you're looking for more, you know, positive sex advice or you're looking for more information on sex, we have tons of videos on our channel that can help you out with that. Also give us a follow at CVO Wellness on Instagram and we will see you for another video soon.